Petrified Forest National Park. Apparently something happened to the wood that turned it into rocks. And, um, this shows you where the Native Americans lived and you can actually see on these rocks here they're still from the year around 1300 some of their actual um, words that they left. The birds on the rock. People say it looks like a stork and a baby. Really? Yeah. Kind of. Do you feel hot? <laughs> yeah, it's really hot out here. Yeah. <laughs> like I need to wear the hat because it's so sunny, but that it also makes me just more hot. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like many Chinese people would be here with umbrellas, which is smart. That's right. <laughs> I just saw some Chinese people. <laughs> but no one does that in America. I've never seen an American carry around an umbrella for the sun. Yeah. Where are we going right now? So right now we're going to Blue Mesa and then Crystal Forest. Crystal Forest. Okay, let's go. Let's go. You look like you're walking up to the sky, Jay. Yeah. You're up in the clouds, Jay! Right now we're in what's called the Crystal Forest. <laughs> so all the logs that you see here, what happened was several thousand years ago, yeah. there was a, a lot of water that was here. So the the little logs, um, they actually started to crystallize. They they had the right mineral composition that now they kind of turned more into rocks. So it's actually a rock or a tree. I don't know at this point. <laughs> So you can see it's like yes. hard to the touch. It's like a crystal actually has different colors. Yeah. You know? Wow. It's very hard. See? So My cool. ring. <laughs> <laughs> Don't break your wedding ring on there. <laughs> Look at all this little crystal rocks. It looks like a little tree. Yeah. Right? Because the crystals formed inside. You can still see the, the rings of the trees. Oh, it's very hard. <laughs> it looks like a bunch of woods. Yeah. If you make this up, it's actually <laughs> rocks. That's really cool. Alright, so we finished up at the Petrified Forest National Park. That was so pretty. Um, we really enjoyed our time there. further into west of Arizona. So this is a really cool restaurant and shopping area in Sedona, Arizona. It's pretty close to the Red Rock State Park. And yeah, this is where our hotel is and it's been so nice to be down here. Wow, so the views here are just really beautiful. This is very, very much not like the mountains I was used to growing up around in Tennessee. All the mountains in Tennessee are completely covered by woods. So I love getting to see just the, Jay called them the bald, <laughs> bald rocks. <laughs> they don't have any tree hair. Wow, I really feel like they did a great job making this place feel special, it feels safe, and it just feels like I could live here for a week <laughs> or more. How about a month? I'll take a month here. <laughs> Oh, 
刚睡了一个午觉，醒来之后发现嗷也不见了，然后我也不知道他去哪里，我去洗手间看见这个浴巾少了一条，估计他可能去游泳了，我去这个泳池看一看他在不在那里，天气还不错，估计很多人在游泳，像那边有很多声音传过来。啊，这里就是游泳池了。刷卡才可以进来。哎，这是哪里啊？没有看到。阿瑞啊，我是不是走错地方了 ？You are in the another swimming pool by yourself. 这里没人，只有我们两个人。好惨
Okay. We're coming Woo. up. Look at this. Oh. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. wow. Okay, I need to. This is even to... larger than I thought it would be. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <a> big hole. <laughs> the colors, are, there's so many different colors. It's beautiful. So, a lot of people actually go hiking down in the Grand Canyon. Mm -hmm. I feel like though it's enough for me just to see it on the top. Yes, it's enough for us. It's very hot. Yeah, right it's now, really so. hot. Maybe if you come in the autumn or even winter, I would be more up for a hike. But if I was just hiking for hours down there, I might, I I'm might feel, it. yeah, I might die from heat exhaustion. It's very hot. <laughs> I was taking picture. So I want you to be many people it. here. Wow. Yeah, how many people So fun. I'm holding on to you, Jay, so if you start falling. <laughs> I'm so worried about losing my hat. If it goes down there, it's gone. <laughs> it's actually really cool because you can hear a lot of different languages here. It really is amazing. You feel like you're in a place that people from all around the world come to see. So we're at the Grand Canyon Visitor Center. And what's nice is they have maps for the shuttle in Chinese and other languages as well. I thought it was really cute because they show you how many sandwiches you need per hike. <laughs> <laughs> also recommended to go on the express bus to go to the other place where we can load the red bus because it's a lot better it has more views we are taking the bus on the top of the Grand Canyon Water. 